I think that's everything that influenced me as far as my uh, love for water. Living in California was just basically, I was, I was a child remembering the beaches, surfing. But when I went to Croatia, I lived on an island on the North Adriatic, that really uh, became reality for me. And uh, it, 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 it hit home because everything about life is uh, related to water and boats and how I was raised. And so uh, it was a very important element in my creating as, uh, as an artist. The uh, European Impressionists used a lot of greens and blues, uh, reds. Here I see in, in the California palette, there's gold in those mountains and those hills and the trees and that reflects that, that, that I don't know, it's, it's just something very different. So I just thought, well, maybe that's just a style that they use. So once I start going up and down Highway 1 and, and the hills and going into the deserts, um, and up to Big Sur, I saw it with my own eyes and I felt it. It was commercial diving. Uh, it was basically just uh, maintaining boats underwater, uh, pulling shafts, propellers. And what happened was uh, I was cleaning a boat and the uh, owner turned the propeller on and that was not allowed in the marina while there's a diver under your boat. But the uh, propeller cut my air hose and cut my wetsuit and uh, that's how I finally realized that that was a sign to, for me to get out of the water and finally pursue my art career because without my right hand, uh, that's pretty much it would be done, it would be over. Interesting part about that is that while I was underwater, sometimes I'd just rest and blow bubbles and think about my next project, my next uh, painting. And uh, so as time went, that was an excellent tool for me to buy paints, canvas, on the weekends, go to art shows, art festivals, and little by little I started to uh, promote myself. Uh, when I came on the scene, I thought I was it. I was, you know, the next best thing. And then when I, re I realized the competition out there and uh, the dis disappointments, I think that's all, that's part of the art career is handling disappointment. With age comes a different kind of happiness and reward. When you're younger, you're trying to pay rent, a car payment, paying a, 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 a ticket. I just want to sell a painting just to survive. Now those days are over. Now it's about longevity and quality. My suggestion is to any artist or to any person in life is not to, not to push it. Don't push love, don't push romance, don't push marriage or art or anything else. It has to come naturally.